Hey, After Buzzers, it's your host, Ali Nasa. We just got to talk to all of the amazing, talented cast and executive producers, creators of Valor and Dynasty. New shows coming this fall on CW. You won't want to miss it. So I'm with the most epic, dynamic duo of all time. I mean, I just have to let you know. <laughs> I mean, you guys are seriously, everything you make is amazing. And I mean, we're talking Gossip Girl, The Carrie Diaries, The OC, one of my personal favorites. So your names are something that I've seen personally. All my sh all the shows I watch have been yours. So I just want to know, what is your creative process like when you guys hear a concept? What kind of makes that that ding go off? Like this is going to be something we're going to create. Wow. Well, we both have to get excited about it. Yeah. So it doesn't work if only one of us is excited about it. Um, and we've had things where you know uh, I may be more familiar with the underlying source material when we start out, and I got to sell Stephanie, and then the reverse is true. And Stephanie grew up on Dynasty. Her mom had the jewelry, the earrings. Said, I didn't see the show as much growing up, but she's like, trust me, it's really good. Sit down and watch these episodes with me. So yeah, we both have to get excited. Yeah, and I think once we are excited, then we start to think about the audience. And is this something that the audience is going to get excited about? Does this feel like it has an underlying concept that's going to resonate with kind of what's happening with people's lives right now? And this show really did. Yeah, and it was interesting because Steph was a fan of the original. I wasn't as familiar with it. And that's who the show has to work for. It has to work for people who are familiar with it and people who've never heard of Dynasty before. And so that made us kind of good arbiters of, of how the adaptation was going to roll. And we're very lucky to get, you know, to partner up with uh, Sally Patrick standing to our right, who's a tremendous writer and showrunner. And we've just had a great collaboration. Right, and so were, you, were there any hesitations, you know, this is a reboot. Yeah. So was it kind of intimidating walking into something that you know you kind of have to live up to a certain expectation? Yes, but that's part of why we also were excited about doing it for the CW, that we could kind of change the point of entry of the show a little bit and really drive the show through these two young women who are competing for Blake Carrington's mind and business. Um, and just so even kind of starting from that place of like Fallon and Crystal being these two, you know, competing forces and that was our way into the show, kind of opened the show up for us and, and hopefully for a new audience. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's so funny because even before I saw the trailer and I didn't see who was writing it or anything, I was like, wow, this kind of feels like a little bit of Gossip Girl, a little bit of the OC, and we, I mean, Cal, the guy who plays Cal is actually in this, so it's just great. I mean, you guys have really captured just from this trailer, and I'm so excited to watch it myself, but what are you guys most excited about making this, this series apart from any of the other ones that you've created? I think it has this core idea of family that we're drawn back to again and again and the idea of going into this sort of wealthy world and looking behind the curtain and seeing things that are not as perfect as they look, those are ideas that draw us back time and time again and the ability to do it in the context of this very iconic show with these characters that people really care about and are already coming to the show with a lot of ideas about is great and then if you've never seen the show as Josh said, it hopefully it works for you too. Yeah and hopefully the Crystal Fallon relationship, you know, uh, uh, Blair and Serena had this very complicated, contentious, best friends, frenemies kind of thing, and this is another dynamic that uh, between these two women that feels pretty complex and modern, and it's going to surprise people how it evolves. And the OC was really a story of father and sons, and this was a father-daughter story in a way that we found really interesting and exciting. So there's lots of new kind of notes for us to to hit.